Seven most overrated active NBA players. The NBA is a league dominated by its stars. Their players are extremely marketable and recognizable. Some players, however, are overrated because of the emphasis the league puts on creating stars. These players receive tons of attention among NBA fans and analysts, but they are overrated relative to how good they actually are, even if they are still immensely talented. Who's the most overrated player in the NBA? Let's find out. 7. Kyrie Irving Yes, the extremely talented offensive superstar Kyrie Irving is overrated. There is no doubt that he has the ability to be a number one scoring option, averaging 26.9 points per game this season. But many overrate him and consider him to be the type of player who can lead a team to the finals. This is not the case because he is best suited to be a sidekick player, because he is miniature and also doesn't have the it factor that guys like LeBron James or Kevin Durant have. Kyrie needs a big brother beside him, or else he will be a high-scoring guard for very mediocre teams as we saw with Cleveland and Brooklyn this year. 6. Andrew Wiggins Wiggins came into college with exceptional skills, size, and athleticism. He was one of the top recruits that Bill Self landed, but the results were never consistently there. Wiggins lost to Stanford in the round of 32. Wiggins was a complete no-show despite being their most talented player. He was the eventual number one pick in the 2014 draft. In the loss to Stanford, Wiggins failed miserably. He made one of six shot attempts and finished with four measly points. Not everybody, but some, pointed and questioned his ability to score from the outside. There have been too many moments in the NBA that Wiggins has disappointed. Not developing with Minnesota wasn't shocking, but he has come up short for the Warriors. He has been under a 72% free throw shooter the past two seasons and hasn't come close to the hype of being a number one pick in the NBA draft. Expectations in sports change the way many look at players and teams. Wiggins perhaps could have his best year yet with a healthy Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, but don't bet on it. 5. John Wall The second highest paid player in the league entering the season is John Wall, $44 plus million. He is at second with James Harden, and the two players couldn't be further from comparison. The issue with Wall has been his inability to stay on the hardwood. He has been making nearly a million dollars for every game he has played, which is laughable. Look at how many games he has missed over the past few seasons. He has barely played half the seasons when he isn't out for the entire year. Appearing in 113 games in four seasons is atrocious. Wall hasn't played in the postseason the past few years either. This makes it even worse since he has not added on games later in the spring or summer. The talent isn't lacking, but the results have been. The former Kentucky star hasn't been able to win because his team has been at a disadvantage. The 2017-18 season was the last time he even appeared in the playoffs. The second pick of the draft by the Rockets was shooting guard Jalen Green. Perhaps that will help out Wall in the franchise, but it could be another miserable season ahead. 4. Kevin Love The year was 2013-14, and Kevin Love was an animal in the paint. He was playing similar to Charles Barkley. He handled and passed the ball with ease. Love lost some weight and transitioned toward a spot-up, pick-and-roll, stretch-forward center. He lost his physicality to the game and failed to stay healthy. He had the skills and body to become a future Hall of Famer, but his game suffered since coming over to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The points per game have been respectable, but still nowhere close to 20 a game. He was once a 23 and 13 type of player with ease, and he was a top 10 to 15 player in the game. He isn't among the top in his NBA Central Division nowadays, yet many still believe he is a solid player. There are playoff teams with players off the bench with more impact on both sides of the court. Love is aging rapidly, and there's just no denying he's one of the most overrated NBA players in 2021-22. 3. Kemba Walker Kemba Walker is filling the stat sheet up, but hasn't done enough. This overrated spot comes down to injuries derailing the undersized guard. Many would throw Kyle Lowry in this spot, but Walker has missed nearly an entire season worth of games over the past two seasons. Coming up one shy of 100 games played has been a liability on defense due to his lack of size. He is averaging only one steal per game, and more importantly, his franchise has been struggling miserably. 
Walker was a stud with Charlotte for four plus straight seasons, but his body has suffered these past two years. He is number 17 in the NBA among highest paid players, and it is crazy to think he is making more money than other stars such as Nikola Jovic, Devin Booker, CJ McCollum, Bradley Beal, and Jason Tatum. Walker isn't a bum by any means, but there have been at least a dozen or so more productive guards that have taken their teams to higher heights in recent years. 2. Andre Drummond I really wanted to put Andre Drummond on top of this list, but we have to look at the stats first, and the number one spot was already taken. Another factor was because there is a small minority of fans that underrate him. These fans believe that while Drummond can pack a stat sheet, he actually has little to no impact on the game. In reality, Drummond is an extremely talented player. However, he is playing in the wrong era. His style of play does not mesh well at all with the pace and space game that dominates the NBA. As a result of this, there may be some playoff games in which he does not even see the court because he will be a liability on the defensive end. When he signed with the Los Angeles Lakers after being bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers, NBA Twitter exploded. Many asked how much help LeBron James needed to win another ring. Along with this, it was instantly deemed that Drummond being added to the team gave the Lakers a big three that could stack up against the Brooklyn Nets big three of Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant. There is a reason why Detroit gave up their franchise player for peanuts, because he simply isn't fit for today's NBA as a max player. Drummond has very good numbers, averaging 17.8 points per game and 15.8 rebounds per game, but his impact has not been there in the wins column. 1. Draymond Green The final and most overrated player in the NBA is Draymond Green. He has never been much of a scorer. However, he has branded himself on being a jack-of-all-trades. The thing he prides himself most on is his defense. In fact, Green got into an argument on Twitter with all-time great defender Tony Allen. Green claimed himself as the best defender the league has ever seen. This is one of the most preposterous claims that an NBA player has made about their abilities. When looking at his play this season, his defensive rating ranks as the second worst of his entire career. Along with this, he is only scoring 6.7 points per game. While he makes up for it with a career high in assists and an average rebounding season, he is seen by many as the second best player on the Golden State Warriors, and it is laughable. Green did not do himself any favors in his Twitter exchange with Allen. However, even without that incident, he is still arguably the most overrated player in the entire NBA. And that was it for today's video, guys. And before you come at me in the comments, if any one of the above players is your favorite or from your favorite team, remember that I didn't just add random players to the list. The stats speak for themselves. But still, if you still think any of the above players doesn't deserve this list, let me know in the comments below.